So good day guys, my name is Iroh Taz and today just a quick video uh, installing the eBay screen for a classic 500. This is one of the things that I'm not sure will stay on the bike but it was pretty cheap. I've heard that they're really good at wind deflection and can also increase top speed slightly so for the price I was really willing to give it a go even if I take it off and sell it later. I wanted to have a look at it for you guys and give my personal opinion. The kit comes with the screen, the mounting bracket and all the hardware you require and it goes into these screw points that hold the light fitting together. It's pretty easy, it will only take a few minutes. You've got plastic washers And washers go either side of the plastic just to help prevent cracking by spreading the load somewhat. Okay, so it'll sit roughly there. So you might take the top one out first. Thread that through and just run it through a couple of threads uh, through there. These have threaded inserts, these ones. Just loosen these off, you'll we'll just do them up finger tight because you'll need the extra slack. Like anything from China, there is absolutely no instruction. So it's just a case of fiddling. There's the front of the screen, and it's not too obtrusive. Uh, it, you can certainly tell that it's on, but it's not too obtrusive. If you're looking for some wind deflection off your chest, then this is probably the screen I'd go for personally, rather than the big, sort of uh, bulbous one that you can buy. Guys, there's the rider's perspective of the screen. Uh, it was a relatively easy install. Like anything from China, there was absolutely no instruction, so it took a little bit of fiddling to work out. Uh, you put these in, but just do them up ever so slightly. A couple of threads, don't uh, tighten them, because you need the flex in that to get it to mount properly. Here, 
take this one out, there'll be a hook with a threaded insert in it that drops out. You need that. That is imperative to sort of locking the light into the bezel. So you need to find that, put this band on, put the hook back on, and then just again put it through so it bites just a couple of threads to give you the flex you need to get these bottom ones mounted and tight. And then from there, tighten the middle one, tighten up the ones on the screen. They don't need to be torqued up too hard, otherwise you run the risk of cracking the screen, which would be a waste of time and effort and money. Uh, for 35 bucks, it actually doesn't look too bad. It goes together pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. Whether it stays on the bike long term or not, who knows, but it was well worth uh, installing to give my opinion on it. So, we'll need to take it out onto the road, uh, and to do that, we'll need to get some gear on. So I'll be back with you in a second, guys. G'day, guys. All right, Taz. Just out test riding the eBay clear screen for Royal Enfield Classic 500 sort of like a fly screen rather than a full sort of 50s police bike screen and I am really quite surprised how well it works for the $35 I've paid for it. It's rock solid steady. I've been giving Doug a little bit of a workout the twisties and it doesn't vibrate it's on there solid as the wind deflection is very very obvious from the moment I jump on Doug you could tell that it was pushing air above my head rather than allowing it to slam into my chest. You can feel the air sort of rise up way above my head. Getting no helmet buffet. No wind on my chest or neck. I have to say it's a little bit quieter because of it. Getting the screen on, just remember to leave all the fastenings loose. That'll give you the flex that you need to get it on before you tighten it down. No instructions, no torque specs. I just went tight plus a quarter is always a good rule of thumb that I use. Whilst I'm not 100% sold on the looks, I'm sold on its performance and it's a quick five minute job to get it on and off. Realistically, if you are going for a long ride or a tour, you can put it on just going down to the coffee shop on a Sunday for a latte, you can take it off. You could possibly even cut some notches so it was even easier to get on and off by just sliding it in and out rather than having to take the screws out. I'll leave that up to you. Comes in transparent, as it's called, what we call clear, and it also comes in black. And it is well worth the $35 asking price. Classic 
500, run out, grab yourself one. So guys, as always, I buy these items myself. They're not sent to me, they're not supplied to me. They come out of my own pocket. So if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I will tell you. And this is actually not bad, considering it's only 35 bucks. Run out, grab yourself one. Till next time, my name's Alright Taz, I'm out.